welcome to Half the Battle! And welcome, my friends, to Cobra Convergence 4! Every day in July, you'll be getting Cobra-related content from an astonishing number of producers, YouTubers, podcasters, and so many more. And I am honored and humbled to be allowed to kick things off. It's gonna be a great month. Now, what did they send to me to review? Huh. Dear Timmer, please review this for Cobra Convergence 4, Hugs and Kisses, Steve. Okay. What the fuck? Orange can be hard. Orange can be hard. Sometimes she knows. Look, I freaking love the His Tank. It's my favorite vehicle. I have dozens of them spread over several incarnations of the toy. It was my firm belief that they never ever made a bad His Tank. Then I saw this thing. Now, you might be saying, but Timmer, what about the septic tank? Surely that's worse? Well, yes it is, but the septic tank was never called a hiss. It was its own thing that just happened to use some parts of the hiss tank. This thing, however, they proudly, proudly called this a hiss tank. Well, I suppose I have to review it. Fine. Meet the His Tank. This vehicle was released in 2015 with one original part, sort of. Yeah, the guns are new, though they were used the same year for a convention exclusive toy. And yes, it is just called a His Tank. No special designation or name. It's just like the original. You can hardly tell the difference. Yes, of course my main issue with this thing is the bright orange. Bright orange? On a tank. A tank. Combined with the silver stripes, it looks like a deformed traffic cone. And you want to know what's tragic? I'd actually be okay with these colors if this wasn't a freaking tank. No, really. If this was some sort of Cobra rescue vehicle using the body of the His Tank, that would have been fine for me. Then the color would have been appropriate. Hell, pretend the guns on it spout water, ironically like the septic tank did, and it's a fire engine. But no, they had to make it a His Tank. One of the most iconic vehicles in the history of G.I. Joe, and they made it look like that. But you know what? I could have forgiven that. Hell, if this thing had come out in, say, 2005, I would have ignored it. They did sell an awesome version of the His Tank in 2005, by the way. But uh, this thing came out in 2015. And do you want to know why that matters? Because this was the last His Tank toy they ever made. Yeah, an iconic series of vehicles starting in 1983 all the way to 2015. A legacy of 32 years. 32 years. And this, uh, this is how it ends. This is the His's final hurrah. That is shameful, and that's why I can't forgive this piece of crap! And that's all I have to say. No, it isn't, I have more! This thing came with action figures. Two of them, in fact. A his driver and a his gunner. They are both in horrible orange, too. And the only way to tell them apart is that there's a slight difference in the legs. The gunner has knee-high boots, while the driver has slightly kinkier thigh-high boots. This is at least consistent with the original His Driver, so good for them, I suppose. And you know what? Kudos to them for including a gunner! That's actually something that would have made previous His Tanks even better, the addition of a second figure. So that's one nice thing I have to say about this vehicle. Well, that and the guns look cool. See? I can be reasonable! There isn't much more to say about the figures, really. If it wasn't for the orange, they'd be perfectly fine figures. They're not even too tall like some others who had the new body construction. And hey, unlike the original driver, you can't say these don't match their hiss. That's quite some color coordination there. Ugh, I'd spray paint this thing black like I did with the septic tank. But this thing is really freaking expensive. And there's a good reason for that. You see, this toy was only available in a set. 
a set that was exclusive to BigBadToyStore.com. It had four figures and two vehicles. The Silent Strike Set. Apart from the Hiss and the Orange Twins here, it came with two Joes and a freaking sweet looking Sky Striker. This thing freaking rocks! And it reminds me a lot of the Night Boomer, the Night Force version of the Sky Striker. And if you wanted this great fighter jet, you had to buy the set, including the damn tank. So you can blame Big Bad Toy Store for this color and monstrosity instead of Hasbro for once. Look on the mask of my boy. By the way, calling this set Silent Strike while the tank looks so damn loud, that's gotta be an in-joke. According to the file cards, this set depicts an attack on a G.I. Joe munitions depot that the Sky Striker foils. I guess Silent Strike could refer to just a Sky Striker, making it black does hint at stealth, but I'm not convinced. Look, the orange isn't the only problem I have with this thing. It's a combination of non-physical factors that ruined this toy for me. The fact that this was the last his tank ever made, ending the legacy like that. The fact that you had to get it if you wanted the Sky Striker. And the fact that the guns look pretty damn cool, just not on this particular toy. All this forms the perfect storm to piss me off. Avoid this thing if you can. It shouldn't be that difficult because it's pretty rare. And this is what they wanted me to review for Cobra Convergence 4? Hey, hang on. There's something else in the box. Oh, oh my. <laughs> They're not gonna get away with it. Hey, Steve! Hey, buddy! You'll pay for this! Pay for what? This! Oh! That is ugly. And you're all gonna pay. What the hell? You're gonna kill half the universe because you got an orange hiss tank? What? Of course not. This is just a toy. Oh, whew. You had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> so it will only affect toys. What are you gonna do? Oh, you'll find out. Damn it! What? This thing doesn't actually have movable fingers. So you're not gonna snap. In more ways than one, I mean. Just give me a minute. Um, by the power of Grayskull! Um, Thundercats, ho! It's morphin' time? Um, I can see you're busy. I'm just gonna go now. Not to plan a resistance or anything. Ah, I think I got it to work now. <laughs> did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Uh, twenty nine ninety nine at the local toy store. Ugh, I'm out of here. For the last time, you're not painting me green for this. Oh.